Hey everybody, welcome into the Adventures in Nerding podcast. It's Corey. Today we are getting into a review of the season finale of Loki Season 1. This is a spoiler-filled review. I'm just doing this really quick. I've been up uh, most of the night uh, editing my website, theadventuresinnerding.com. Go there right now. You can have access to all uh, my podcast feeds, interviews, um, gameplay, and of, of course, um, reviews which we're getting into Loki season finale right about on now. You're listening to the Adventures in Nerding podcast on the Adventures in Nerd. So the season finale was really, really awesome. Loki and Sylvie, of course, you know, the last episode, they reached that, that weird, um, what is it called? Like castle at the end of time with, with you know, they defeated Lyoth, you know, the ancient, the, what is it sylvie uh, enchanted him or something like that and then they you know they run into eventually run into king you know some version of king the you know the well, i forgot what his name was he who sh- will not be named or something like that um and he warns you know you kill me you know the, the whole multiverse unlocks um you know you can be in charge of the tva or you you know you basically cause chaos and Sylvie chose chaos and kicking Loki you know back to whatever timeline he ended up in of course by the end of the episode you realize he's in a completely different timeline and no one at the TVA knows who he is I loved like just the entirety of the series but the way it all culminated in this one event and unlike all the other shows that were affected by COVID and, and, and various other things this show's finale felt like a real, real payoff. You know, I, I, I loved um, the actor that played King. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to, I had his name right in front of me and it completely escapes me now. Who plays King and Loki? Plays King and Loki. I know he's from what? Lovecraft Country? Jonathan Majors. Let's see. Last Black Man in San Francisco. Defy Bloods. Set the star in Creed 3 and Ant Man and the Wash. Quantum Mania. This show, like this sixth episode, sets up really the MCU going forward. You know, each movie's basic steps into the multiverse. Since, you know, silly unlocked it and and we're what's weird to me is like you know this mystery behind sylvie like she could be she could be a loki she could not be a loki like she you know she doesn't really let on to who or what she really is and i want to see that unravel in season two but you know getting more into the episode you know majors he, he was so what is it not a, he wasn't aloof but he was so like crazy he had that crazy energy like he knew everything that was going to happen he led them to that point but it seems almost that he wanted them to let the multiverse free and it, it's so i just can't wait i can't wait for the second season i can't wait um for spider-man no way home uh, um ant-man and the wasps you know multi um was it quantum mania um multiverse of madness with doctor strange like i just can't wait for that stuff i can't wait for the next series i can't wait for what if um you've got um hawkeye with you know you know the person that's showing up in that show without giving spoilers um I mean, Marvel has such a, a dynamic and just huge universe set up. I just can't wait. I can't wait for everyone to experience it, especially, you know, the guys I've been sharing um, these episodes with uh, my nerd friends. Now, um, let's see here. It's very, it's very late. This is more of a test video for me than it is an actual review. I just wanted to see if everything was working. I had a frame rate issue in the last video. I just want to make sure things are running correctly. So, just my final thoughts, just on the Loki series as a whole. 
Like, what a way for the character to go. Because he went out great in in Endgame, but like this is a whole different, really, character, you know, story wise, and you know, the way Tom Hiddleston plays him. Like, this Loki knows everything that that happened to him, happened to other Lokis. So he's really a good guy trying to make a difference and save the the universes, the multiverse. So it it, it was so cool to see um, what the creator Michael Waldron did and what Kevin Feige had laid out. And I'm just happy. I'm really happy with this series. I'm not going to give it any kind of like five out of five rating or anything, four out of five or anything like that. It's just really good. And and I think I am probably gonna rewatch it. I'm definitely gonna rewatch it with my wife. I like to like series like this that are kind of stressful. I like test them out for for my wife so it doesn't stress her out. But I will catch you all on the flip. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember theadventuresinnerding.com relaunched. Looks really cool. Check all my social links on that page, and I will catch you all later. Mm -hmm.